Hi, this is Jamie with Jamie's Thoughts, and I'm going to try my first vlog today. That's a really goofy word that basically means video blog. Uh, today we're going to learn about something that I did as a child. It's called a gum card. Yeah, kind of a weird nerd, or kind of a weird word. I know people are always like, what is that? So we're going to show you. Uh, a gum card is just that. It's a card made out of gum. We used to do this when I was a kid. Uh, my mom found the idea and uh, we knew a lot of kids just with our disability group, uh, with my disability, we knew a lot of different kids that were in and out of the hospital a lot um, and other just other people. And so we thought it would be fun to make them a card with gum on it because not only is it fun and creative and inexpensive, but they get to chew the gum. And who doesn't like gum? Well, some people don't like gum. But you can go. You can do this with just about anything you have in the house. Um, we did it with regular uh, cardboard, or not cardboard, uh, with regular uh, stock paper. Uh, I'm gonna do mine. I'm gonna do mine with what I have in the house, which is scrapbooking paper. Um, so my cards are gonna be a little bit big. Um, don't worry, you just don't have to be quite this big. I'm gonna use 12 by 12 paper. Um, but what you basically need is your colored paper, crayons, markers, uh, anything that you can write with that you can draw your person and write the card with, some kind of adhesive, and of course the gum. Um, I would kind of maybe find out if what kind of gum they like so that they actually enjoy it. Uh, the cards I'm making today are watermelon, and because I heard that that's the, what the kids really, really like. So anyway, let's get started. This one's going to be for a girl. The first one's going to be for a girl. Um, so we're going to use pink because she's a little five-year-old girl. And so you, you fold the paper in half. Like I said, this is a 12 by 12, so it's going to be a little bit long. Make the crease. And we open left to right. So this makes this is your front. And you can draw pretty much anything you want on it. What I usually would do, because those with the sticks of gum, it's easier to do straight lines instead of like drawing their name or something like that. Um, so let's draw. I'm also using scrapbooking pens. And I'm going to use just black. I usually just use black to draw the outline of the person. So let's do this. And one of the great, another great thing about this is that you don't have to be artistically inclined to do a, a gum card, as you're going to see here in a minute. See? It almost looks like I'm playing hangman. It's just my little gum card. Uh, and then I'm going to give it a little bit of personality. So I'm going to um, give it eyes. And a nose, because, you know, we've got to have a nose. And a mouth. I always like to draw the mouth red, even, you know, even though we're talking about a kid or pink, just because, you know, mouths aren't black. So you need a red or pink mouth that's just right. And this little girl kind of has um, off some, like, dark brown, or I'm sorry, dark blonde hair. I don't have blonde markers, so we're going to just give her brown hair. She's got really pretty brown hair, but we're just going to give this, and we're going to give this one girl, this girl, curly hair, because that's pretty much what Miss Jamie knows what to make. If I try to give it straight hair, it just looks like lines. And here's the thing that might not make sense right now, but I'll explain it here in a minute. We're going to go ahead, well, and here's, here's my stick figure person. We're going to go ahead and put clothes on this girl because, you know, well, we like clothes. So we're going to give her a pretty purple dress. You might be wondering, why are we putting clothes on this if we're just going to cover it up with gum? Well, because so that the when the little girl that gets this gets the gum, and she takes off the gum, she has a, still has a nice card underneath. 
so that she's not so that when the person that gets it um, then they don't have just like a piece of paper with a weird face on it so we're gonna we're gonna uh, give it some clothes I'm gonna go ahead and I we used to do these for get well cards so we would always write get well but this isn't a get well card this is a a welcome to your new family card so we're gonna just write a message to her here okay and then comes the fun part when we were kids we I think we my mom said we probably just use glue you could use double-sided tape I thought about using scrapbooking adhesive I don't think that would hold the gum very well so we're gonna try a glue stick and see how it goes I'm not always real good at making the stuff stick or I'm too good at making it stick I remember when I was a kid and making Lincoln cabins out of toothpicks and I literally glued my fingers together me and go me and uh, glue are not a good fit so oh this smells so good just got extra you know just get a pack of gum um, this is extra so get a handful and I usually apply the adhesive to the folded sides where it's open so that um, as you're carrying the card, um, it, the flap doesn't open and the gum doesn't come out. So that um, the, you put the, I don't know if you can see that with the glare, but you put the um, adhesive side down. Obviously, what I meant to say is that you put the, um, folded side down and and you just start placing pieces of gum I'll show you I'll do a couple kind of give you an idea and then show you here in a minute And I'm a little out of practice for this, so I did not measure my person very well. But that's okay. Overlapping pieces of gum are always a good thing. Because there's no such thing as too much gum. Well, there probably is, but not for a gum card. Okay, looks kind of like the Tin Man now, doesn't it? I'm holding it down so you don't see the child's name. It says Princess at the top. Um, but here you go, you made a stick figure and you just, as you can see, I drew a, you can kind of see the dress underneath it. Um, but then I also put the pieces of gum, they're a little bit overlapping because this, because it's a 12 by 12 and folded over, it, it made it a little narrow, but oh, sorry. So you make it that way, and then you open it up, and you can put more gum on the inside, but that that can get a little excessive. So I usually just uh, will write a message. We're going to write a real quick note. This is for a five-year-old, so I'm kind of writing in big block letters. Okay, and there we have it. We have a gum card. Hope you enjoy making this, and um, I will make another one to get pictures for the blog. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.